Modifying LaserCut 3D models is easy, as long as the format is 3D. I want to modify these VR goggles so as to accommodate my far-sightedness. Unfortunately, 95% of LaserCut models shared online are in the form of 2D cutting plans. To edit this in 2D, I just have to make the top plate longer. But that requires me to also modify this side connected to that plate, the opposite side and the plate at the bottom of the headset accordingly. The way I figured this out was by temporarily thinking of the model in 3D. I mentally assembled the 2D parts into a 3D model, mentally performed the scaling operation, realized that the four casing walls should be affected, but not the nose piece which happened to be located in front of the screen and then located and modified these in a 2D cutting plan. In our study, participants took 24 minutes to perform this task, rated it as hard, and only two participants arrived at a cutting plan that could actually be assembled into a functional model. This is what we are addressing with Assembler Cubed. By making this 3D reconstruction step explicit and implementing it in software. More specifically, Assembler Cubed allows users to 3D reconstruct their model, which then allows users to use available tools like Cube to modify their model, and ultimately convert it back to the 2D representation the laser cutter needs. In our study, this software support allowed participants to perform the shown modification 10 times faster, rated it as easy, and always produced functional models. Assembler Cubed achieves this using a five-step algorithm. Step 1. Assembler Cubed detects what are plates in the model by determining the nesting order of the parts in the file. It then assigns plate versus cutout in alternating order. Step 2. Assembler Cubed detects joints based on patterns of left and right turns in the parts. It estimates the probability of a given piece of contour being a joint based on how closely it maps to a perfect version of that joint, with straight angles and parallel lines. Step 3. Assembler Cubed now determines what material thickness the model must have been designed for. It achieves this by identifying those portions of joints that are supposed to cut through a plate and have these vote for material thickness based on their length and currently estimated probability. Here, the red line segments win this vote, suggesting that the material is of this thickness. Assembler Cube now revisits segments that had voted for a different material thickness. Now, knowing the actual material thickness, the assumption that these be joints is not justified anymore. Assembler Cube therefore drops these from its list of joints. Step 4. Assembler Cube will have to compare each joint to each other joint. To perform this quadratic number of comparisons quickly, it condenses the specific shape of each joint into an easy to compare hash. To make the hash robust against variations in curve, Assembler Cube does not hash the widths of individual fingers, but a pair of a finger and an adjacent cavity. This hash now allows Assembler Cube to identify all matching joints in linear time and with a very small prefactor. This is essential for allowing interactive rates in the following step. Step 5. Assembler Cube now lets users assemble the model interactively. By clicking a plate, Assembler Cube simplifies the user's visual search by highlighting all potentially matching joints. And the user continues to assemble the model. If Assembler Cube should ever insert a plate incorrectly, this floating menu element allows me to reorient the last plate. But given that this plate was correct in the first place, let me just undo that change and continue to assemble the model. The Assembler Cubed algorithm is now complete. We have a 3D reconstructed model. And now my preparation is paying off as it allows me to manipulate my model using standard 3D manipulation tools, such as to adjust my VR headset to accommodate for my far-sightedness as demonstrated at the beginning of this video.
we have tested Assembler Cubed by importing and reconstructing 100 models from online repositories Thingiverse and GrabCat. Assembler Cubed helps users to make parametric transformations to 3D laser cut models, even though they are typically shared in the form of 2D cutting plans. The key step is the 3D reconstruction. The remaining steps are handled by existing software systems, here Cube. When this process has been completed once, users most likely store it in 3D format, allowing them from now on to perform any possible manipulations such as stretching the headset vertically to fit a wider phone, or making the headset more comfortable to wear by switching to thinner and thus lighter wood, and by adding cutouts. For the same reasons users will want to hold on to their models in 3D format, users will want to share their models in 3D format, as this allows others to keep personalizing, to keep remixing, and to keep advancing the complexity of the model. And this is where we see the true objective of Assembler Cubed. To help the field leave the outdated SVG sharing format behind and to transition to a 3D format.